Hello survivors and welcome to episode 4 of the YMM Zombies gear review. In this episode we have the Cold Steel GI Tanto and the Cold Steel Katana Machete. You might notice we're not in my backyard. We're actually out in the forest not far from where I live. We're going to test these out in actual application. First up, we have the Cold Steel Katana Machete, as seen on Zombie Go Boom. This thing's interesting. It's a machete and a katana. But, let's be honest, it's not really a machete. You can't use it one-handed for chopping through the bush like you would a machete. It's basically a low-budget sword. We have the long blade, I don't know if you can see that. And it's not even machete sharp. It's blade sharp, so it's a weapon. No ifs, ands, or buts. I've wrapped the handle in paracord for a little bit extra grippiness, and just, you know, paracord's always a good thing to have. Now then, what can we try and wreck with this? Alright. I got this old dead log. We're gonna see if we can cut through it with the canana. See what happens. Well, the log's definitely split. Beyond that, I'm not really sure what happened. And it snapped off down there. Think about using dead logs. Hmm. You see where it hit. Didn't go that deep though. So I'm guessing we mostly just broke it. Okay. Obviously I don't want to cut down anything that's alive because well, that'd be useful. That wasn't so bad. As usual, the blade held up pretty well. Well, that is the cold steel katana machete. For 40 bucks for cold steel, it's not a bad deal. I get one. Next up is the GI Tanto. Another low budget option from Cold Steel. Heavyweight, sturdy steel. I'm not gonna show you, but they bend the thing almost in half. I've replaced the handle with paracord, like I do on everything, because it was just flimsy plastic. Nice sharp blade, holds well. I don't know what Cold Steel uses for their steel, but it seems to work pretty well. Let's see if we can't cut something up. Hmm. We'll turn you aside and you can watch me chop down branches on this broken dead ass tree. Well, that was fun, but not very entertaining. Now they show it throw, being thrown on the show, but I can't throw knives and I don't recommend it anyways. Because who wants to be in the zombie apocalypse with your knife sticking out of a zombie 10 feet away? Right? Am I right? Okay. Right. 
Let's just see if I can show you how deep I can bury it into a dead log. And we still have a nice, perfectly sharp blade, even after all that. So, you know, I might not be the biggest fan of cold steel, but their stuff's still good. All right, one last thing. The uh, GI Tanto comes with a nice Securex sheath. Has nice holes if you want to make it strapped to something, or it comes with just a regular belt loop. Easy to remove. Easy to put back and it's not falling out. All right, that's it for the Woodland episode of the YMM Zombies Gear Review. Thanks, great review, and we'll see you next time.